Okay, so Hogwarts Legacy has been out for a little bit now, and regardless on your thoughts of the game, I think there are a few areas where the game really excels in, and honestly, I hope that we see other open world games sort of follow suit. So, let's talk about it. Okay, so right off the bat, I think the biggest thing that Hogwarts Legacy does really well for an open world game is how it handles its exploration. It's seriously a lot of fun. The map in Hogwarts Legacy is pretty darn big, and especially for fans of the franchise, it has a sort of Disneyland-like feel in terms of all the locales and interesting set pieces for you to discover. But when it comes to good open world exploration, there's more to it than just pretty environments, and the size of the map doesn't count for much if it's not rewarding or fun to traverse through. I think Hogwarts Legacy does a great job at addressing these challenges. For example, one of the main ways to gain XP in the game is by completing field guide challenges. Pair these challenges with the plentiful amounts of loot hidden throughout the game, and it does a great job of encouraging you to go sightseeing off the beaten path right away. The map is pretty darn large, and while you can fast travel for convenience's sake, once you get your broom, traversal outside of Hogwarts becomes even more enjoyable, and due to the many points of interest and loot sprinkled throughout the world map, you find yourself deciding not to fast travel and instead just enjoying the moment-to-moment -moment journey itself. In my opinion, when playing Hogwarts Legacy, I often thought of Insomniac's Spider-Man games, where even though fast traveling via the subway was always an option to quickly get somewhere, flying around as Spider-Man and potentially running into other fun side distractions was part of the enjoyment of the game, honestly. Another thing I think Hogwarts Legacy does really well that also sort of enhances the exploration side of things is how the game handles its pacing with the quests. The intro segment before you get to Hogwarts is admittedly a little long and a bit Bethesda-like. It does take you a bit before the world fully opens up to you, but once it does, it does a great job of handing over the reins to you and allowing you to do what you want and go where you want to go. The main quests I found also do a pretty good job at giving you natural stopping points where things don't feel super urgent. So if you're trying to role play or do other side quests, doing these side quests in between of the main missions don't feel out of place in terms of the sense of urgency compared to say something like the main quest line of Fallout 4. I think truly great open world games can do a good job of balancing things out to make it fun, exploring, and fun to engage in side quests without making things feel like overwhelming busy work. And I think Hogwarts Legacy does a great job of doing this. I never found myself getting that Ubisoft-esque burnout feeling that I sometimes get with other open world games, and part of that may be from nostalgia admittedly, but I think the game does a really good job of having that side content feel more organic during moments of exploration that allow me to rely on things like my minimap a lot less. From the environment to the traversal and the pacing of the game, it's all executed really well in these little areas to make the experience really enjoyable. I feel like over the last few years, it really seems that more games are starting to really make open world environments more enjoyable to play in, and I hope that Hogwarts Legacy is proof that some of these design choices will continue to be more present in future open world games. But yeah, that's just my two cents on the game. I just really wanted to talk about how much I like how the exploration is in the game, and how it really delivers a solid paced experience with the quests. I find that a lot of open world RPG-esque games kind of will have this like really critical uh, storyline that kind of makes you instinctively want to just complete the main quest, but then like kind of branching off for hours into doing side quests is kind of narratively weird. You know, I go back to Fallout 4, oh, your son has been kidnapped and now I'm going to go spend 150 hours building a settlement and not worry about trying to find my lost son. I just think that for the open world side of things, the really detailed environment, the really fun, encouraging exploration, and the incentive to do side quests, yeah, it's really good. I, I like it a lot and I'm glad to see that more and more open world games are kind of taking that stuff more seriously and not just making it a just boring busy work thing for those of you who have played the game i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it whether you agree or disagree with my takes and yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below be sure to let us know if you like this type of content or not by hitting that appropriate like or dislike button and if you want to hit us up feel free to hit us up on twitter or our discord community server which is all in the description down below and yeah that's enough rambling out of me thank you again so much for watching my name is blake and for all things tech game stuff really anything nerdy in between be sure and subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time.